All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to unit three. So we are still talking about angle pairs. Um, eventually, at the end of this week, we're gonna be talking about angle pairs um, as they relate to parallel lines. Uh, we're getting there, uh, but for right now, we've talked about the different angle pairs and we spent yesterday classifying them. Now we're gonna use those angle pairs to start solving problems. We'll do more angle pairs and solving more problems with them tomorrow. And, and then we'll hit the parallel line bit of it. All right, so that's, that's where we're gonna go. Uh, basically, we're gonna hit one of these boxes a day. Uh, and we're still working through with, with all of those angles and stuff from yesterday. So uh, ideally, you're gonna know what those angle pairs are that we talked about yesterday and you're gonna be able to use them to solve problems. So if you can recognize that two angles are complementary, that means you'll add them up to 90, right? If you know, recognize that two angles are supplementary, you'll add them up to 180. If you recognize that two angles are vertical angles, you're gonna set them equal to each other. And, and um, that's really the relationships that we're gonna see today, honestly. So all of those skills are at level two. Um, so hopefully you are on those particular ones, right? Um, identifying angles formed. Um, oh, well, actually, yeah. Classifying angles, you should hopefully be at a two and um, using them to solve problems. You wanna be at a one right now and at a two before we leave. Um, and then eventually we'll get to the proving them all. That'd be great. All right, so moving on with that. Um, on page, can't really see which page. There you go. On page six of your packet, uh, we have five examples that we're going to go through together, and then you guys are going to do pages seven and eight, the practice problems on there. Um, you guys are going to do those problems, and it's going to be lovely. So I'm going to use purple because you'll quickly see that purple is the color of the day. We're going to go ahead and solve these five problems here really, really quickly. Um, again, it's utilizing the knowledge you guys have from yesterday. If you don't know what all these angle pairs are, you really need to make flashcards. You really want to study them. Not only what the names of them are, what they look like, but what they should add up to or be equal to um, so that you guys are good. So looking at number seven, um, you see that we have two angles, this one and this one. All right. I want you to recognize this is the big part of today. I want you to recognize that they are across from each other at an intersection, right? Going on like this. Okay, so we've got this angle and this angle right here. Those angles across from each other in intersection are vertical angles. So we're going to go ahead and say vertical angles. Okay, how do vertical angles relate to one another? They are congruent. So the measures of each angle are equal to each other. So we're going to say vertical angles are congruent, all right? That means that the measures of the angle should be equal. So that means that X and 112 should be equal to one another. And that's it, X equals 112, that, that, that's all. All right, let's look at the next one. So in the next one, I want you to notice we have this angle, 124 degrees, and this angle, which is X, okay? They combine to make a flat line. Okay, we're looking at the pairs. They combine together to make a flat line. That means they are a linear pair, okay? And or that means that they are supplementary angles. Either way, okay? So linear pairs are supplementary, supplementary are supplementary. So we're gonna say that supplementary angles, okay? How do those relate to each other? They're identified by that flat line. We know that a circle is 360. So half of that, a flat line, is 180 degrees. So we're gonna say add to 180 degrees, all right? So if you take those two angles and add them up, it should be 180. So we're gonna go ahead and say that 124 plus X should equal 180 degrees, just like that, all right? To solve for X, we need X all by itself. So we're gonna subtract 124 from each side. When you do that, that goes away. You're left with X equals 124, 180. Uh, my calculator is on the other side of the room. So let me do this real quick. So this is a six, this is a, uh, should be 56. So X is 56, um, which means that that angle is 56 degrees. All right, that's how that's going to work out right there. 
um, because 56 plus 124 is 180. So there you go. All right, and last but not least, we have number nine, which has a lot of these. And then of course we have the actual uh, other ones, but this is the last one of the top row. Um, you've got X, Y, and Z that we're gonna go ahead and solve here. Um, and they don't necessarily have to be done in order, but I kind of like to keep them in order. So we're gonna go for that. So let's look at X first. All right, notice how the 43 degree angle ends the angle with X in it. They make a straight line. See that? Right across that way. Okay, they make a straight line. We know then that they are supplementary angles, that they make a linear pair. So I'm not going to write all of that again, but I am going to put um, sup angles, right? Add to 180. I can't write the word supplementary twice in one day. Sorry. Uh, so they add up to 180 degrees. That means that X plus 43 should equal 180, all right? So when you subtract, okay, to get X all by itself, you end up with X equals 137, I believe. Um, there you go. So we know that X is 137, and I just, because there's so much to keep track of, I would go ahead, whoops. I would go ahead and actually write in 137 degrees right here, just so I could keep track of what's going on where, all right? So we've got 43, 137, let's keep it going, all right? So how about angle Y? I want you guys to be able to look at this and see this. Hopefully you see the same thing I do. When you're looking at this thing, you see 43 degrees, you see angle Y. This is just like number seven. They are across from each other, at an intersection. That means they are vertical angles. That means they are congruent, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and say that. Vertical angles are congruent. That means their angle measures are equal. So from that, we just know that Y is 43. So we can go ahead and replace this with 43 degrees. And there you go, that one's done. Now we need to find Z, okay? There's actually a bunch of different ways that you can get um, Z in this case. Um, I'm sorry, what? Okay, I was gonna say, that's not 37, that's 137, that's much better. All right, so there's a bunch of different ways you can get Z here. Uh, and I don't care which one you do. You can look at these and say, well, those make a flat line, so those should add to 180, let's find Z, boom. Or, right, you could look at this one and say, well, that makes a flat line, so that plus Z should be 180, cool. Or you can look across and see that there is an intersection right here. So these are vertical angles, which means Z needs to be the same as X, which is 137. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It takes the least writing. So vertical angles are congruent. So we could say that Z is 137. So that angle down there is 137 degrees. And that's it. That's how we do it. The whole thing adds up to 360. It's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's, it's, it's great. So that's, um, that's what you guys are doing. Now, I hope you realize there's actually more than one way to do this for each of these, especially with Z. Once we had our options, they're all, they're all there. You can keep using the supplementary angle rule and keep adding them up to 180 and get there. You can use vertical angles. Um, you want to know what all of those rules are. You want to be able to identify and follow them all because sometimes you will need to use them and other times not so much, but, but you can use all of these rules interchangeably um, whenever you see them and, and you could probably get the answers that way. We're gonna keep using these rules for supplementary, complementary, um, vertical and all that when we get into the parallel perpendicular line. So you really wanna make sure you have them if you don't already. Uh, we are gonna keep working together with them um, and we're still not done. I'm gonna change color though, because there's a lot of purple going on here. Um, I'm going to go to the, the violet purple, the red or purple now, and we're going to do 10 and 11. All right, so for 10, find the values of X and Y so that line NR and line MQ are perpendicular. That line, that symbol, the upside down T in the middle means perpendicular, which means they intersect at 90 degree angles. So we know that this guy and this guy intersect at 90 degree angles. They already kind of marked that. Um, so I don't know why they told us that, but they are telling us that this is 90 and this is 90 
and this is 90, and they already marked the one that's 90. So we have uh, 90 degree angles, all four of those are. Uh, that is important because, right, when we look at this, right, this is angle NSP and angle PSQ. Those are where my X's are. We know that those together make a 90 degree angle, all right, which means that they are complementary angles. So we're going to go ahead and say, complementary. I don't know if it's an EME or an IME, but I'm going to put a, I think it's an E. Uh, complementary angles add to 90 degrees. So we're going to take the first angle, which is 5X. We're going to take the second angle, which is just X. We're going to add them together and set it equal to 90, just like that. So 5x plus x on one side, that's uh, 6x equals 90. And if you divide both sides by 6 to get x all by itself, you get x equals um, 1, 15. Yeah, 15. All right. So that first angle with just the x is 15 degrees. The other one is, is 75 degrees. Those together add up to 90. And then on the other side, right, it's a right angle. So we can just use our vocab there. Right angle is 90 degrees. For this guy over here, it's just one angle. It's a right angle, right? We make it with the box. So it's, it's 90 degrees. So we know that 9y plus 18 should equal 90, all right? So now we just solve for y. You can subtract 18 from both sides. You end up with 9y equals 90, 80, 72, okay? And when you divide both sides by nine to get y all by itself, you end up with y equals oh, what is it? Um, eight. All right, eight, and you could plug it back in real quick just to check that nine times eight is seventy-two. And seventy-two plus eighteen is eighty. Ninety. All right. So, so there you go. Uh, so you get an x of fifteen. You get a y of eight. And, and number ten is now done. Uh, I suspect we're going to do the same kind of trickery for number eleven. So, so let's check it out. The measure of angle EBF, this is EBF right here, okay, is 7y minus 3. That's what they told us. And the measure of angle FBC, that is this guy down here, um, is 3y plus 3, okay? We want to find the value of y so that line, I'm sorry, ray, BE, and ray, BC are perpendicular. That's what that, law, that symbol means, perpendicular. Perpendicular means that they intersected a 90 degree angle. So we want this and this, that's ray BE and ray BC to be perpendicular. That means it's a 90 degree angle, all right? So I'm gonna mark that right, right there. Um, so we know that those two angles that we just drew, the seven Y minus three and the three Y plus three, those guys have to be complementary. All right, so we're going to go ahead and write that. Complementary angles add to 90 degrees. And so let's add them to 90. So we know that 7y minus 3 plus 3y plus 3, okay? Those should come together to get you 90 degrees. Now, officially, it should look like this, the first angle in parentheses plus the second angle in parentheses. And then you, you would go ahead and mess with it. So you know that this is 7y minus 3. Uh, then you have plus 3y, okay? And plus plus 3, so that's still plus 3. That equals 90, like that. All right, combining like terms. We have 7y plus 3y. That gets us 10y. And we have negative 3 plus 3. Those kind of actually just go away. Um, so we have 10y equals 90. We need y all by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 10. Whoop. So you end up with y equals 9. There you go. So one of those angles is 30. And one of those angles is 60. And that is, uh, that's all there is to it. We're just solving, solving, solving using those angle relationships that we learned yesterday. So it's just very, very important that you can recognize when two angles add to 90, you know that they add to 90 and you can use that. When they add to 180, you recognize that they do and you go ahead and add them to 180. And that is what we're doing. You guys are gonna practice with the, uh, with the rest of it, right? So I did those. You guys are working together slash by yourselves 
slash whatever you're going to do. You want to make sure you understand it, obviously. Um, and you're going to practice. So pages seven and eight, uh, you're going to do 12 through 22, which is just a bunch of different problems that look like the examples I just did for you guys. I'll be wandering around. I'll be checking it out. So you guys want to make sure that you are good to go on that. Um, and then you're going to be taking pictures of your work. Um, some of you guys, when I put all the pictures on one page, you either only submitted one or you submitted it so that all the pictures were on top of each other. So I only saw the last one um, and that's no good. So I've gone back and made it two pages to show your work. So since it's page seven and eight, there's going to be a, a page in class kick for you to take a picture of page seven. And then there'll be another page for you to take a picture of page eight. So just make sure you do two pictures and on, they're on different screens. So I'm going to grade them like that. It'll be, it'll be great. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Um, happy Tuesday. And let me know if you have any questions. If you're at home watching this, uh, let me know there. If you have questions when you come back, you could also um, send me a message on, on um, Schoology and I can get back to you that way. All right. Bye guys.